So what is Hanukkah? And what is Hanukkah? Like others, the Maral asked the question. We make such a big deal of the miracle of the oil burning, one night's worth of oil burning for eight. It was a miracle. What's the significance of it? What does that have to do with Jewish destiny? Especially since we're told that in the Beis HaMikdash there were miracles all the time. But even more so, the essence of Hanukkah was the fact that we drove the Hellenists out of the country. Why such a big deal of the miracle of the oil burning for eight days? Says the Maral, there's no question that what Hanukkah is about is the victory of the Maccabees. But there's something problematic with that. When you talk about battle, so that leaves room for people to start studying their strategy. Yeah, guerrilla warfare is very effective. The greatest powers have not been able to fight guerrilla warfare victoriously. The miracle of the oil, that was Hashem's way of announcing, just in case you missed it, the victory in battle was miraculous. So that when we're going out there and announcing it, you like your menorahs out there at the door, the window, wherever you do, out to the street, you got to talk about the oil burning because there's no room for debate. That was miracle. But when the Raman defines the festival of Hanukkah, he says they made a yontif bahalel v'hodoyo. This is a festival we were expressing our thanks and our praise to Hashem. Where do we do that in the Allah Nisim that we add to the Shemon Esrei? We barely mention anything about the oil. We don't mention anything, a little bit of a hint. Yeah, they lit the narrows in the Mesamikdash, the Chatzros Kotshech. But we talk about the military victory. But we talk about it as miracle. The conquest of the, the, the victory of the few over the many, the weak over the mighty. So when we talk about Hanukkah, first and foremost, understand that what we're talking about is the fight against Hellenism. It was our victory over a perversion of our values, attempt to change the way Jews thought. There's another festival, Purim. It's totally different. Purim, we celebrate with Mishtev Simcha, we party. What happened, Purim? 
Haman threatened, had a, a decree against the Jews. We we're all going to be annihilated. We were saved. So we celebrate by party. There's a lavouche who explains that on Purim, because our bodies were threatened, our lives, we celebrate it with partying. You feed the body, you have the body celebrate. Whereas on Hanukkah, it was our values that were threatened. There we celebrate it with halil v'hodaya, with thanks and praise. In other words, that is more of a physical festival Hanukkah is a spiritual one. There's another very important difference between the two, and that's the way the Jews dealt with it. What did we do on Purim? Read the Megillah. We prayed, we fasted. For three days we fasted. And that's why before Purim, we have the fast of, of Esther to commemorate the fast that the Jews fasted before they battled. Others uh, used to fast for three days to commemorate the fast that Esther called. But essentially, we look at Purim that came about because the Jewish nation did tshuva, fasted, and prayed. What's with Hanukkah? Hanukkah, we took up arms. So it's been noted that when we're threatened physically, that's time to sit and ask yourself, why is this happening? That's a time for introspection. That's a time for tshuva. That's a time for prayer. When our values are threatened, you take up arms. When our values are threatened, we're being challenged. We've got to take up arms, be ready to give, give it all, including our very lives. So what is the story of Hanukkah? We managed to drive out the Hellenists by way of fighting them <coughs> and miraculously winning. In fact, the fight didn't even make sense. There was no way we could win. One could even ask the question, we have a rule, ain't so himalanes, you don't rely on miracles. So how'd they do it? It was suicide. The Syrian mercenaries with their elephants, the tanks of those days. A couple of Jews with their bows and arrows and spears. How many were there? The Maccabees. How many, how many were the Maccabees? How many were there? It was a family. Everyone else gave up. Everyone else either surrendered or felt there's nothing to do. How were they allowed to do it? When Jewish values are threatened, you got to be ready to give your life for that. And the story of Hanukkah teaches that the miracles happen. What's going on today? What does Hanukkah mean to us today? Unfortunately, for those who don't know and don't understand, it's victory over oppression. 
it's already been turned into a, a festival of democracy. Equal rights. Get the message. When Jewish values are threatened, you gotta be ready to give your life. You gotta take up action. You don't give up. You can't be complacent. You got to get out there and you got to fight. And miracles happen. This is what we're about. Just in case you didn't, you didn't notice. This is what we're about. Jews today are at the forefront of the fight for left-wing liberalism. They're fighting against anyone that believes that there's absolute truth. They're fighting against religion. And denying our right over the land of Israel, too. Most believing Jews have given up one way or another. Either there's nothing to do about it or listen, they had free will, it's their fault. They opted out, they're gone. There are people who speak that way, but they're Jews. This is so off. The story of Hanukkah says that the Jew stands up and fights. Now, what does it mean to fight? Should we take up arms? What we accomplish? You gotta know your enemy. Our enemy is not Jews. Our enemy is ignorance. Jews that were brought up without Jewish values have no idea what it is that they're rejecting. They buy into popularistic philosophies because there's a void they haven't seen anything better. Our enemy is ignorance. Taking up arms means developing a strategy for educating, for educating those who are preaching that our values are not to be studied or accepted. This is what Hanukkah is. When our values are threatened, we've got to give it our all. It's not a time to sit back. But come on, what we're up against, it's going to take a miracle. You can count on miracles. When our values are threatened, you can count on miracles. <laughs>